Oh! Lancaster was the hanging capital of England. There's more executions in Lancaster than anywhere else in the country. This is the place that the, the Pendle Witches and anybody else to be executed. Would you say that that area is creepy? Yes, you'll see. The atmosphere completely changes. It's quite a dark place. This is the area where the Pendle Witches died and still here today. So you've got the history of the Pendle Witches, hundreds of executions, and an insane asylum. Yeah, just a few feet away. Can you tell us anything about where you're buried? I'm buried close by. This is creepier than mm -hmm. Pendle Hill. Yeah, you're there. How do you feel? Oh! Oh! No, no, no. What the f On tonight's very special episode of The Paranormal Files, we have followed the trail of the Pendle Witches all the way to Hanging Hill. Yes, this is the former location of the gallows in the town of Lancaster where the Pendle Witches met their ends. Right now, we are deep in this forest area searching for those tortured spirits and the spirits of the hundreds of other individuals that were executed on this hill. Let me tell you, the history that we're about to show you is absolutely shocking. Tonight is the conclusion of our two-part Pendle Hill series. You are gonna learn some things, you are gonna see some things, and hopefully right now we are about to experience some things that will shock you. My name is Colin Brown. Thank you so much for joining us this evening, and you're watching The Paranormal Files. Okay, hi everyone, my name's Paul, I'm from uh, Haunted Nights and we're here with the Paranormal Files um, doing the continuation of the, the, the Pendle Witch story. The guys were over at the Pendle Witch Villages last night and this is like the, the, the concluding part of the, uh, the story, the trial and execution of the Pendle Witches. So we're going to take you on a little bit of a tour, give you some of the stories and then we're going to take you to the actual place where the Pendle Witches were executed and where they still are today. Um, and we're going to get to do a little bit of ghost hunting up there. So taking it back really before, before the Pendle Witch story, before 1612, on the throne was uh, King James VI of Scotland. He'd taken over this, this country, this, this new, new England, and it was very sort of dark and civil war was breaking out. There was long, harsh winters, uh, crops were failing in the in summers, and the, the, the villages were quite isolated and turning, turning in on themselves. Now, King James was a paranoid king. He'd say, taken over this new land. Prior, prior to that, he'd been over in Denmark to pick up his new bride, uh, the uh, Princess Anne of Denmark. On his way back, uh, coming past Norway, this flotilla of ships was hit by a storm. The admiral of the flotilla pulled the, pulled the ships into Norway, jumped on board the king's ship and said, this is the work of witches. And the King James, okay, tell me more, what, what's going on? Yeah, we've been cursed. Uh, we're going back to berwick upon tweed they, they obviously don't want you back there with your new bride. We've been cursed. So when the storm passed, um, the flotilla got on the way again, got back to berwick upon tweed and King James then rounded up some of the, the, the poor down and outs, locals, people on the edge of society, accused them of witchcraft and over a hundred people were executed for creating the storm. He then say, took over this, this, this England. It was fairly, fairly unruly. He got magistrates here and there. Some of them, you know, sort of cared about what they did. Some of them just weren't really bothered and were quite happy with the situation. He, but he wrote a book and it was called the Book of Demonology. And in simple terms, it was, it was an instruction on, on what to look for and how to catch witches. And at the same time, because he, he, he'd taken over Parliament, he changed the laws. So it made it so simple to, to um, basically have somebody um, executed for witchcraft. You didn't need to be caught in the act of performing witchcraft. That You didn't need any evidence of the what you'd done with your, your powers of witchcraft. All you needed was a simple confession. That was enough to get you to places like this, Lancaster Castle, the, the courts, uh, and ultimately to, to get, you, um, get you executed. Some of the magistrates received the book, tossed it to one side and yeah, weren't really bothered. Some of the magistrates saw this as being a way to win favour with the king, the, the, the new king. Now this new king was paranoid. His mother Mary, Queen of Scots, she'd had her head lopped off. His father had been murdered, um, he'd taken over England, Guy Fawkes had tried to blow him up. So yeah, they were out to get him. The good reason to be, to, to be paranoid. So we, we come down to Pendle, the, the magistrate at Pendle, a gentleman called Roger Knowles. He, he received his, his book of demonology, this instruction on how to catch witches, and thought, yeah, this is, this is how to win favour with, with the new king. This is going to help me up through the ranks. 
and he was living uh, in the Forest of Boland, the area where you guys were last night, the sort of New Church in Pendle, Barley area. The Pendle Witch, Witch story started feuding families, all sort of ganging up on each other, trying to settle old scores. Accusations were running, were, were running wild. This was brought to the attention of, of Roger Knowles. Many of them were uh, arrested, brought over to Lancaster Castle, where they were held in a cell which is roughly 20 foot by 20 foot. Total darkness, it is, it, it, even today you go down there and it's cold. So in April it would be bitterly cold. Um, it's always damp, there's always sort of water on the floor. Um, the conditions were harsh. Um, they were given enough food basically just to survive on, which was bread and water. Now one of the, one of the old ladies, uh, old Demdike, she never made it to trial. Um, she was a ripe old age of 83 and just the, the, the harsh conditions um, finished her off. The others made it to trial and on the, on the, the words of a, a child were accused of witchcraft and basically the two judges that were sitting on the jury August the 13th, August the 13th the trial started, three day trial, had enough evidence and they were all accused of witchcraft, returned to the cells and were set to be executed the following day up on Gallows Hill which is one of the highest points um, over looking over Lancaster. So what was um, the evidence used against these witches? Like what did they say they were doing? Um, it was basically the, the, the family, family feuds and they were accusing each other of um, anything from murder. They were, they were um, one, of the, well, one of the families accused um, the other family of causing murder going back 20 years. Okay? But it was enough for Roger Knowles to, to, to sort of bring them in and accuse them of, of witchcraft. Um, there was other stories of them making milk go sour, being able to have people str uh, stricken down if they uh, if they asked, asked them for, for some pins or some milk, and if they refused, then they had the they believed they had the power to be able to um, um, lame them. I think the the the, the, the terms is. So, Roger Knowles had all this evidence. He had all, all the the the, wit uh, the witness statements. Now, when when they now bearing in mind they'd been been in total darkness from April to until August. When they brought them to trial, they were in a terrible state. Okay? They'd not seen daylight for all this time. They'd survived on bread and water in terrible conditions, no sanitary conditions in a, in a, in a small space. Um, John, the, one of the youngest, uh, the a male uh, accused of witchcraft, he went in fit, 18 year old young man. When he'd come out to go and stand in front of the jury, he couldn't string two words together. And on, on, on the question of, you've been accused of witchcraft, how do you plead? A nod was good enough. That was it. You were down for execution. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And we were talking from yesterday's video, we were even a little bit um, confused. The, the women accused of witchcraft, some of them actually believed that they were doing stuff like that? Going back in, in, into the 1600s, the... They, they could have been herbalists. When England was good and the, 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 the crops were fine and, and people were generally sort of um, happier, the wise woman, if you like, would be called in and if your coward got mastitis and she cured it through herbs or through, through medicine, it, it was all good. She was your social worker, she was your midwife. Uh, they, they were called cunning women. So they, they, they sort of covered all, all aspects of that. Now it's when the, the um, environment changed, say the crops failed and, and they started to turn in at each other. So this time you've called your cunning woman in and this time she didn't cure your cow, she killed it. That's what the tide started to turn against these, these people who were on the edge of society. They, they did um, make remedies out of herbs um, and they do, did believe they had these powers to be able to heal and to be able to help. So it was the, the change in the environment, the change in the times that turned people against them. So did the people in town want the witches to hang? Yes. With the, the outbreak of the, the, the Civil War and with the conditions worsening, then, yeah, the, 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 these people that were on the edge of society that once were their helpers, almost then became their enemies and they wanted them um, to, to be cleared from, from, from the regions. And there was a reward for like turning in yes yeah the, yeah quite often the the, uh, uh, the magistrates posted that, that if you know if, if you've got a, a neighbor who was um, you thought was a witch then there would be rewards for um, turning those people in especially if you could also present evidence that you you'd seen them maybe grave digging mm -hmm. you know they probably hadn't but if, if you know if you wanted to get rid of your neighbor it was the uh, it was the ideal way to do it having a land dispute with the guy next door just 
Yeah. He's a witch. And well, turn yeah. In. Probably one of the most famous uh, famous of the Pendle Witches is, is a, a lady called Alice Nutter. Uh, now, Alice was a, a woman with money. She owned her own properties and she took on Roger Knowles on more than one occasion on land battles and beat him. Really? She was an inconvenience to the magistrate. She was a woman with a voice, she was a woman with money, and um, she was quite a, had quite a powerful family. So to be able to pull her in on the, the witch trials and get her accused of witchcraft, it was perfect for Roger Knowles. That was a win-win for him. Yeah, he got he got rid of a um, a bit of a problem a problem for himself. And then made a little penny as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they didn't have conflict of interest back then. <laughs> no, not really. No. <laughs> That's no. Pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah. No. We're gonna walk and talk more, but like I just had a question. We came in here earlier today and we had some time off, and I didn't know this was like what he says right here. Prison, HMP with all the Lancaster. Executions. Yes, yeah. Can you just talk about this castle for a second? Okay, yeah. I mean, the castle was 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 a strategic Roman uh, building. We're on the uh, not far from the coast here, and the the river runs through. So it's an ideal place for the Romans to uh, to build a castle. So it's it's been here for uh, many many years. Coming further up in time, it then became HMP Lancaster. So it was it was a, 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 a full working prison. It's also been used for hold, holding um, prisoners for many many years and lots of executions. Now in the sort of in the in the days of the Pendle Witches, the executions took place outside of town, which was which was quite normal uh, in the UK, and it was always on the highest point above above the town. When we talk about Matthew Hopkins, he started the, the witch trials down in Essex. His witch trials, the Chelmsford witch trials, with the 29 people from Manningtree and Misterly, they were um, executed on Gallows Hill above Chelmsford, um, which is now a lovely housing estate called Primrose Hill. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, they were always done on the, the highest point because hangings were a public day out. You know, it was, it was a sort of big party, festival, fate atmosphere. That started to wane a little bit um, and they were sort of then used more as um, a warning to the locals that if you commit these crimes, this is what, what, what's going to happen to you. And then they started to take place outside here where we are now. Really? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So on, on the, the, there'd be gallows put up there on certain days and the executions took place here now. After that, then, uh, hangings became um, non-public, if you like, and they, they took place inside. Now, Lancaster, outside of London, was the hanging capital of England. There was more executions in Lancaster than anywhere else in the country apart from London. Really? Yeah. Shit. What a f***ing nickname. <laughs> the yeah. hanging capital of England. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. The later days, if you if you do go into, into the, the, the castle, because they had so many hangings and they were burying them as close to the gallows as possible in, in unmarked grave, they started to run out of space. So what they did is they buried them upright because they, really? they could fit more in. Yeah. Inside of you? Inside the castle. Where inside? There's a big exercise yard. Yeah. In there, under there. How many people are buried there? It's, it's unknown again because it's gone on so for, for so many years. And again, because all as we know about the Pendle witches from the court trials, a gentleman called Thomas Potts was the clerk of court and he wrote down everything that was said verbatim. And it's, it is actually in a book today and it's called The Wonderful Discovery of Witches in Lancashire. It's written in Old English and it's really, really difficult to read. Um, but the, what you can get, you can read from, from it, that um, if you were executed, you were buried in close proximity to the gallows. So inside, inside, outside, here, gallows hill, gallows hill. Jeez. So people are buried out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right here? Yeah, underneath. Uh, this, this, the, the cobbles are probably from Victorian times, so you're probably going back um, late 1700s, 1800s for the, the, the cobbles. But before Jeez. that, it would have just been dirt. That's f***ing crazy. That's really nuts. <laughs> Yeah, this, this place would be a hell of a place for a ghost hunt. Yeah, there's a, there's a place that uh, we go to in um, Nottingham, it's called the Galleries of Justice. And it was one of the only places in England where you could be arrested, tried and executed on the same day. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy! Yeah, they'd got the courtrooms, you were, uh, the holding cells, you were arrested, you went and saw the judge in the courtroom, you were then taken outside and executed. And again... I don't yeah. know what's better than... I think about the, like just getting it done that day or them keeping you in a dark cell for months. Yeah, and I think keeping them in the in the dark cells for the, 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 the duration that they did was to grind them down. Uh, yeah. Force a confession yeah. out of them. Yeah. They don't want to go back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. Well, 
You want to start our walk? Yeah, we'll go for a, a little bit of walk. Now, the, the gentleman that uh, looked after the Pendle Witches was a, a, a gentleman called Thomas Cavell. Uh, now, he was um, head, head jailer and he was also Lord, Lord Mayor of, of Lancaster City on more than one occasion, so very, very highly thought of. Um, but he was quite a barbaric man. Um, if he didn't get what he wanted from you, he cut your ear off. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no cut messing about, no sort of torture, just lop your ear off. So why the ear? It was the easiest thing to do, I think. And then if you still didn't tell him what he wanted, you lost the other one as well. <laughs> which we tended to get a, get what he wanted. Holy but, shit. Uh, yeah, he was, uh, he, was, he, was, he was a harsh man, but he was very well thought of. Um, and often um, he's seen walking this walk that we're doing now. Sort of quite a stout, short, stout man. But best described almost like wearing like a brown hessian type um, long coat. Um, and he would often uh, often be seen, and people will, will sort of walk past the, or this gentleman will walk, walk past them, they'll do a sort of double take, and he's either walking off or he's, he's disappeared, and they think, oh, maybe there's a reenactment day or something going on. But no, it's Thomas Cavell doing his, doing his rounds. Yeah, better watch your ear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of creepy around here. Like, the vibes. The yeah. castle, man, it's so imposing. There are not many castles in America. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Right, uh, this is this is the uh, the, the priory of, of Lancaster. Now in in the UK, however high up you were in society, you got buried um, close to the the church. So if you were um, a politician, a vicar, a reverend, um, your your sort of your grave was always sort of close close to the church. Thomas Potts, who was the the jailer. Um, who looked after the Pendle witches? He was that highly thought of. He's actually buried inside the. So that's how how sort of prestigious he he was seen. So. Even though he was chopping up chopping people's up people's ears, ears yeah, it got it got him a seat inside. <laughs> wow, that's all you got to do to get to heaven. But, uh, yeah, so that's that's where he is now, and that's where he ruled. Okay, the uh, the the building behind us is it's called the Judge's Lodgings. It was the home of Thomas Cavell, um, and the judges would come on the specific days when the court trials were going on and they would stay with uh, Thomas Cavell. It does make you wonder how much talk went on behind the scenes. Okay, we've got this trial coming up, I'm the jailer, we've got these people, you know, we need this verdict. Yeah. How are we gonna get it out? <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, the judges would um, come, they would stay here with Thomas Cavell on the, the day of the Pendle Witch Trials. There was two judges, they, they stayed here for three days, um, so they, they would walk basically follow the steps that we're going to go back up to uh, up to the castle uh, daily s sit in uh, in judgment and then return back to the luxury of um, this fantastic uh, mansion that's uh, that's behind you now what about hauntings anything there has been uh, several ghost hunts done in there and thomas cavell has been seen uh, and communicated with but again we've just followed followed his steps around from his castle where his, his, his resting place to his, his residence so this is this is where he is he's seen to still walk today i wouldn't mind living in a mansion like that it doesn't seem too bad we brought you to the pub but you're not people get both of their feet up right <laughs> <laughs> left and right <laughs> We've brought you to the pub. We're not going in. This is where they had their last drink? This No, this is where they spent their last night. Oh. So after they'd been condemned to execution, they were brought here and they spent their last night on the, the middle floor. The unusual thing about this pub is normally pubs have cellars and the beer's pumped up. This is gravity fed down. Really? Yeah, so the cellar in effect is, is the, the middle floor. So they spent their last night in relative comfort. So on August 20th, a horse and cart pulled up. They were loaded onto the back of it along with their coffins, and they were taken off up to Gallows Hill. They did stop at a pub on the way up, uh, called the Golden Lion, where they had their last drink. Now, on the day of their execution, there was other people being executed as well for the petty crimes <clears throat> talked about, and there was one um, young lad refused his last drink. He was taken up to Gallows Hill. He was put on, his, on the stool. He was asked for final words. He confessed because they believed if they confessed, they went up rather than mm. down. The stool was kicked away. Several minutes later, a messenger boy come running up. The king had pardoned him. Oh, man. Minutes never, later? Never refuse your last drink. It could save your life. Jeez. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> yeah. I'm sober, man. That's f***ed up. <laughs> not, not a cool joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
I'll take a water, please. <laughs> yeah. I, we, have, we have spoke to the um, lovely people that own this place, and we said to them about the, the ghosts. They said, yeah, we do have ghosts. We said, can, can we come in and you know maybe see what we get? And they said, we've got ghosts. We know we've got ghosts. We're happy. They're happy. And we want to keep it that way. <laughs> now, I got a question. Yeah. So, it's kind of bizarre that they would have them in, like, the worst conditions possible and then give them a nice room and a drink what, what's with the sympathy there it wouldn't be that nice it would be straw on the floor but compared to what they had it would be it would be nice but it wouldn't be um you know there wouldn't be sort of uh, four poster beds and yeah. and stuff it would just be a basically a, a, an empty room with straw on the floor but they'd have daylight they'd have a, a decent meal and then they were taken off for for execution why was that just like kind of like a last meal type yeah thing? yeah it's almost yeah their destiny was was decided and they were allowed a little bit of luxury if you like for their for their last uh, last night I suppose like now we do you know people are going to be executed they have a last wish last meal they can have what they want can't they so it's sort of similar to that I guess yeah so we're, we're just leaving the judges lodges now we're going to follow in the footsteps of the of the judges lodgings back up through up to the the uh, the castle so the judges would have walked this this little walk that we're going to do uh, on the way up to their their assizes their, their court days. The front, the front of the building is looks a little bit more modern. I think it's had a little bit of work. So the original sort of is this was this side. And you just said this is like exactly like how it looks. Yeah, nothing, nothing will have changed. This is the, the original building, the, the Cavell's house, judges lodgings, the little sort of passageway going through. That's so interesting. Four hundred years ago, and it still looks the same. Yeah. We're going to uh, sort of uh, carry on up to Gallows Hill for the uh, the final the final resting place of the Pendle Witches, the spot the way they were executed and where they still are today. Would you say that that area is creepy? Yes. You'll see when we get there. Because what what also adds to the atmosphere, um, just at the back of the park uh, was an asylum. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's no longer there, but yeah, it's uh, the sort of parked in the grounds, sort of so you got. Bit of that going on as well. Sounds literally right up our alley. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We'll follow you. Yep. So what I'll do is uh, on our way up to Gallows Hill, we've left the castle behind. This is the route that the uh, condemned people would have taken going up to uh, to, to Gallows Hill. Um, on the side of the wall there, this is the, the the history of the pub dating back to 1612, and uh, explaining that this was the pub that everybody that was um, brought to for their final drink before their final destination. Um, it explains a little story about the, the teetotal guy who refused his final drink and um, got up to the Gallows Hill, was executed up there, and just within minutes of his execution, um, a pardon arrived from the king. But it was uh, just too late. That's so sad. So this has been a bar or a pub since then. 1612. That is... Same names? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so as far as I know, it's, safe, it's kept the same name. Yeah. yeah so that's what it holds. The damn criminals making their way to Gallows Hill to be executed in times gone by. It seems some like the burn has had to return. Sightings of a nun. Yeah. That figure will be reported on several occasions. We could correspond with the pub's history as those travelling past the Golden Line on the way to the Gallows would have been accompanied by a nun. One other story of the teetotal saddler who refused his last drink while en route to Gallows. Question, what's a teetotal saddler? A saddler would have, he would have been like a, um, uh, he would have made leather saddles, horse, okay. horse saddles, yeah? Teetotal, yeah. no alcohol. There you go. Teetotal. Wait, so it's a teetotal or like a sober guy? Yep. Teetotal, man. I like that shit. Teetotal. I'm gonna start calling myself that. Sounds cool Yeah. Well, away from civilization we go. Yep. Up to Gallows Hill. Gallows Hill. Okay, we've left the castle behind and the the judges' lodges and everything else. We're actually following the footsteps of the Pendle Witches. We've now arrived at Gallows Hill. Just gonna take a short walk up to the the top point and. Finish off the, uh, the 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 story up there, and then we're going to do a little bit of ghost hunting. 
Would you describe this as one of the creepier places in this area? It, yeah, through through the whole city, it's definitely it's got it's got its own vibe. Um, when you walk up there and you you stand at the highest point and you're looking across Lancaster, you can you can actually see the the final sight of those 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 witches there. And then as we as we go down um, into the sort of the, the the depths of the 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 hill where we know the sort of the people that were executed here are buried, the atmosphere completely changes. It's a, quite a dark place. Yeah. What's before we go up there? What's the energy like up there? How would you describe it? It changes quite frequently. It can go from anything to being like deadly silent, really, really still, to actually um, sort of quite a sinister feel. And it depends who's around. We've just done a um, ghost hunt up here uh, this evening and we did the Estes and the name Roger. And it was a guy and he was, he was sort of quietly spoken. And then all of a sudden he just burst out, Roger, Roger, Roger. Well, Roger Knowles was the guy that was responsible for the, the execution of the witches. And then all of a sudden it changed. And he, he spoke in a much quieter voice and he was, help me, help me. And when we got him off the S, he said the man's voice was very sort of uh, aggressive, very demanding. The woman's voice was almost like she was like fearful with the help me, help me. Damn. And that was just tonight? That was tonight. Shit. Let's, Let's get to it. it. Let's. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know what that was, man. Okay, we've arrived at Gallows Hill. This is the highest point above uh, above Lancaster City. Over in the distance, we can just see the uh, the castle. This is the the place that the the Pendle witches and anybody else to be executed through the sort of 14, 14 15, and sixteen hundreds would have been brought up here all around as their final resting place. We know from the the book written by the the court they were executed on the twentieth of August on the morning of the twentieth of August, sixteen twelve. Once they were pronounced dead, their bodies were cut down and they were buried in close proximity to the gallows. So this is the area where the Pendle witches died and still here today. And the gallows would be about know. here, yeah. Uh, now the best way of describing the gallows, if you imagine like a children's A-frame swing, yeah, and there'd be three ropes uh, dangling. So the the, the accused will be brought up here, the um, rope would be put around their neck, they'd be stood on a stool, they'd be asked if they had any final words. Most of them confessed because they believed by confessing it would cleanse their soul and they would go to heaven rather than to, to hell. At that point the stool was kicked away and they were left dangling on the end of a rope. It took about 20 minutes to die uh, because it was death, death by strangulation. If your family and friends were here, they could come up and hold on to your legs, put pressure on the rope so it would help you die quicker. So that was, uh, uh, there's a saying in, in, in the UK, hangers on, that's where that saying comes from. Okay. So lo lots and lots of uh, executions going on, lots and lots of hangers going on. Um, down below us um, would be hundreds and hundreds of people because the, the executions in the sort of uh, 14, 1600s were big public affairs. They were like fates, big days out, big families. And of course there was every time that one of these poor unfortunate souls was left there twitching on the end of a rope. There was big swigs of ale, big cheers and everything else. So after nine or ten hangings, everybody would go home and the next day they would wake up with... A hangover. A hangover. The day after the hanging. Is that really where that comes from? Yep. No yep. way. It is, yeah. That's the origin of that? That's the origin. So you got the hangers on. That's <laughs> crazy. No <laughs> fucking way. Yeah, the hangers on you were basically helping your family die and everybody else was cheering and swigging, swigging the ale. And uh, yeah. They went home hammered and come back with a hangover. Yeah, so once they, uh, they were left, finished off, off, off twitching and they were, they were dead, they were then, then cut down. Um, obviously they're, they're buried. When, when we have a walk around, you can maybe spot some of the places where they're not buried, but all the places you can spot, yeah, well, yeah, they could be buried here because the ground's much, much softer. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's where they stay today. It's just another day for, for Lancaster the hanging capital of the, the, the northwest. Everybody would, would sort of leave, go back about their business until the next the next planned hanging day. Pendle Witches today, um, 
they've not been pardoned. They're still classed as being executed for for um, witchcraft. It is probably the most famous witch trials um, in probably in the world. Um, everybody knows knows about the Pendle witches and the, the, the Pendle witch trials. And what about paranormal activity? Okay, uh, <laughs> right. Paranormal activity. Um, we don't we don't tend to do much up on on the spot here. There's a little spot just just off the side of the the, the gallows where we can we can go down to where we tend to do most of our investigation, if you like. One of the things that happens quite a lot, and it didn't happen tonight, we tried it, but it didn't happen tonight. Whenever we talk about one of the particular witches, uh, a lady called Alice Nutter, who we talked about earlier as being the, the, the um, lady who was a, a, a thorn in the side of, of Roger Knowles, she um, was the woman of with a voice and she was the woman of mo uh, money. Whenever we talk about Alice, we quite often get the really, really strong florally smell, if say like lavender. Yeah, then that usually comes along if, if Alice Nutter is around. She's quite a, a sort of very gentle soul. Um, and she was the only witch that was hanging here that didn't confess. She's held out to the very end. Other activities that we get, we quite often get unexplained lights seen down, down in the bottom bit that we're gonna to go to. And the Estes method always gives us a mixture of very sort of uh, demanding dark type stuff as well as sort of uh, people that are, that are asking for help the sound of, of, of people crying usually the, from the, the the women's side the the male the male element that we get down there is very sort of domineering very demanding um, and doesn't like you being there do you want to have a look at the yeah Pebble witch what are these other memorials to different um, times during the... There go the witches, 1612. And a picture of the castle in the background. And then the next year bowling? Is that what they're doing? Yep. <laughs> Let's wow. continue on with life like nothing ever. Yep. J, T, T, and coffee. So how many people do you think are hung up here? Over the few hundred years, several, several hundred. Yeah, it was a, it was a monthly, a monthly day out. To, what, what would, what are like the craziest reasons people got hung? Were there any like really weird laws? <laughs> so many. Yeah. Bestiality. Ooh. You get hung for that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Still should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Bestiality is, is uh, one of the, the reasons recorded for hanging. Concealing a pregnancy. If a woman concealed a pregnancy, it was death by hanging. No fucking way. There was a, a story of one, one lady, I can't remember her name, um, Maggie, um, up in Edinburgh, and she concealed a, a pregnancy. She gave birth. Um, on the riverbanks uh, outside, outside Edinburgh, the family, the family found out she was taken and put in front of the judge. She was um, deemed to be executed for concealing uh, childbirth. They hanged her, and then they went to the pub down the road for the for the wake. And this young man come running in, said, "I think you better come out. There's noises coming from this this coffin," uh, and she wasn't dead. So they took her back to the judge, and he said, "We can't hang her twice." Oh shit! <laughs> Did she survive? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she survived and carried on and had a family and yeah. Holy shit! But you can't hang somebody twice. Nah. <laughs> Holy. So yeah, ch concealing a childbirth was a hanging offence. Stealing. Stealing. Setting fire to a sheath of corn. Execution. And all those people are buried around here. Yep, all in close proximity to the gallows. That's a lot of gray. And I think it's interesting that you would imagine this would be like a. Gallows Memorial. Yeah. But it's a sundial. No, it's a sundial. There's no, other than the little plaque there, there's no mention that um, this was the execution site. Just, it's just known as Gallows Hill, or now it's known as Williamson's Park. There's a, a gentleman built a monument over there in memory for his wife, and his name was Williams Williamson. But there's no mention anywhere of the gallows? No, no mention that, you know, the, the closest we get is the, the mention of the pub where they stopped on the for the last drink on the way up. After that, it's just... That's crazy. Yeah. Well... But it was the ideal spot because uh, execution was a spectator sport. You get a nice hanging point of view. Yeah. So 
twigs breaking, not not like sort of falling like full. Um, but yeah, strange lights. But when you look inside of a hill, but we do get strange lights there. And this is the place quite often where we'll we'll just sit and chat and talk about Alice Nutter and how she was wronged. Her. And then she almost like comes in and brings this sweet smell with her. It's something that we've had on Pendle Hill as well. This this sweet smell. Really? Yeah, quite creepy, creepy little area. So this is right below yeah. the gallows. Yeah. Area. Yeah. What's the most haunted area of this whole area? Here where we are now, sort of any, anywhere around this 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 uh, dugout area. And then there's another path that takes us over the other side. It's very flat ground, very soft ground. Ideal place for burying somebody. Hmm. And again, it's just a stone throw from the gallows. Are there any ghost stories from people around this area? Um, often people will see, they'll be down in this area, and they will see figures walking across the top path. Um, when there's, there's, there's nobody up there. Um, a lot of lights, unexplained lights seen, um, particularly blue. People see, seem to put almost like ultra, ultraviolet blue, almost like bubbles, rather than sort of sparkles, almost like bubbles, blue blue lights. And it's um, like a static electricity. It sort of shoots quite quite quickly around. That's, that's seen here. Yeah, figures seen, um, people almost like walking towards you. And if you, if you can watch, it's almost like they're walking towards you, but never get any closer. So it's almost like a walk in motion, but they're not getting any closer. They're just there. That's something yeah. that happens down down this side. Anybody yeah. ever seen the witches up here? People have said that they've they've made contact, and again, it is normally the the smell that comes along with Alice. Um, Rod, Roger is a name that comes up quite a lot, particularly when we're doing uh, doing the Estes experiment. Um, it tends to be more sadness and sorrow that we, we, we do pick up, particularly when we're doing sort of the Estes stuff with, with the women's voices, which again, I would associate to maybe the Pendle Witches. All right, man, is that it? Yeah, I, mean, I can show you the other area, it's, and then sort of you can come back here and then I can just leave you to it. Just fill your boots. You can go to the other, to go to the other area? Yeah. Yeah, it's on just a short wall. Yeah, let's How do about it. we leave the suitcase here? Yeah. Yeah, this almost yeah. feels creepier than Pendle Hill. Yeah. This, if you were going to bury a body now, it'd be here. Because right now? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're not going to kill us, are you? <laughs> yeah, so to me, if you were going, if Gallows Hill is just over that way. We were just over the other side of it. Um, so, yeah, this is, to me, it would be an ideal spot for moths. <laughs> So if you were going to bury a body, then this is, uh, this is it. quite remote, away from everywhere else. Plenty of room, and yeah, has a creepy feel. What yeah. about paranormal activity around here? Oh. Yeah. A paranormal activity. Well, we. Do you, what? do you have any big animals around here? No. You hear that? Yeah, we heard it before. It was almost we were down in that little bit where we were behind the caravan, and it was almost somebody was coming crashing through the bushes. It was like. Somebody's going to be, you know, sort of bigger than a squirrel's probably about the biggest thing that's in here. Yeah, on the on that path in particular, there we do get sort of footsteps heard. Dark shadows are seen again walking, walking through. Um, a lot of K2 spikes. Yeah, a lot of K2 spikes right around this 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 area and over by that tree in particular from from past experience. We did once. We had somebody. And we there's a little pathway that leads back towards the, the gallows. We did have somebody standing there one day and they were almost like pushed out the way really? yeah they were physically shot shot forward and they were standing standing on their own it's, it's probably worth having a little bit of a uh, play on the pathway down there also there was an insane asylum here yeah just over over uh, over the back there uh, many years ago there was um what we call a, a lunatic asylum um it's now most of it's been knocked down part of the asylum um, gardens were part of this this, this park, um, and most of it's gone now. And what's bits left of it are residential luxury apartments. So you've got the history of the Pendle witches, hundreds of executions, and an insane asylum. Yeah, just a few felt away. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking crazy. What a dark park, honestly. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, I mean. Is this the end of our tour? Yeah, yeah. If you're gonna stay and do your stuff, it'll be interesting to see what you get, but I'm not staying. <laughs> All right. <laughs> any, any final words before you leave us? Don't be afraid of the dark, be afraid of what's in it.
Shit. <laughs> Those are some pretty good final words. Me. <laughs> You're not going to hang around? Uh. <laughs> I stole it from him. That was yeah. his joke. He was okay. Give him, give him permission. He, yeah, he gave me permission. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, All right. Def definitely. Uh. All right, guys. It's 1.30 in the morning right now. And we're out at the bottom of uh, Gallows Hill. It's creepy because when you look around here, it's completely pitch black. And what's interesting is that we've been, we sat here and talked to Paul for like 20 minutes before he left and we've been sitting here setting up and there are no noises. There's no big animals, there's nothing. So if we hear anything in the woods tonight, I'm gonna label that as unexplained because so far this entire hour, hour and a half that we've been out here, we've only heard one sound of like a twig snapping and it came from that path. I'm super excited to be here. This is just the stuff that we live for and absolutely love doing and couldn't do it without this little guy right here. Hey guys, it's me, Connor. Make sure that you go check out the Paranormal Files store. Get your merch. We have all sizes right now. Of also the last drop, so make sure you go check everything out there. But anyways, <laughs> we are here at Gallows Hill. Uh, we're gonna see what we can catch tonight on our devices and See what we can experience. It's very creepy out here. Yeah, just look at this area, guys. Are you holding this? Show this. Just look at how creepy this is around here. And then there's a random camper. Right here. Yeah, there's a little like really theater strange. place. It feels like you're being watched for sure. Yeah. Well, shall we get cracking? Let's get crack a lacking. Last seconds. Dude, look at the fucking moon coming through those I trees. I know, it's eerie. Dude, that is so spooky looking. All right. To anybody who might be out here, any of the people who were executed here on Gallows Hill, Specifically the Pendle Witches. We're calling out to all energies and entities that are out here. Follow our voices and please come speak with us. We're from America. My name is Colin. My name's Connor. Oliver is attached to this place. What's that? It was looking like a whistle. Jesus. Hello? <laughs> All right. Attached to most of the land. Attached most land. Yeah. If there's somebody here with us, if you see any of these little red lights, oh look at just touching that one. Yeah. If you can touch any of these lights, that'll show us that you're here with us. Or you could use your voice. There's somebody here with us right now. Can you give us a sign? Attract him. John. John's one of the witches who was hung here. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, I just got fucking chills. Oh my god, that's crazy. The first word, I mean, sure popped up, but I didn't hear it. John? Oh, dude, I just got fucking goosebumps everywhere. John? 
We just called out to you. Are you here with us? Hi, Rocky. Horse. 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 They would have rode up here on horses. Yeah, I've been taken up here. Mm -hmm. John, I think I can feel you around here. Where are you? Are the spirit of the witches here? Grace. John. What do you remember about what happened in August? 400 oh, years, 400 years ago. 1612. Who are you? And where are you? Oh, it just looked like someone was up there. I kind of like that. It looked like a good person standing there. I love you. Donna. Alice here tonight? Hi. Failing. So. Can you tell us anything about where you're buried? I'm very close by. <laughs> I just got full body chills. <laughs> Thank you. Who, who's buried close by? John? Is that you? Christianity. Christianity is what killed him. That's f nuts. That's crazy as hell. That's creepy too, because like... They could be buried up there. They could, they could be buried right underneath us. Gallows Hill is right up there. You scream. Really? Yeah. He's like, oh. Who's here with us right now? This is crazy. I know, dude. Regal. Regal. King? Frustration. Frustrated with the king and queen? We're, we're not representatives of the government or anything like that. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Bro, that was right there. Thing like that. Ah! Oh! Thing like that. Ah! Oh! Hello? <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to scream like that. I just, just said we'll make a sound too. That was literally like a footstep crunch, oh, like right there. If that was you walking right there, can you touch one of these lanterns you can see? If you see that purple ball circle or...
Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to be friendly. the Pendle Witches Rocky. here? Rocky. We're in the rocky area. All behind you. Bro, I get such a fucking eerie vibe from over here. I swear to God, there's, like it said, a body. It just gives me, but it gives me the feeling. Thanks. It gives me the feeling of, like, unsettledness. Like, it's not, like, a happy... Like, really? Significant. There's a... Are you buried over here? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Do that. Another whistle. Got a weird smell. John, or Alice, any of the we Pendle witches. You. Let me see. We can affect you. How are you gonna affect us? How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh Hello? How do you feel? <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> I don't know why I'm like really. You have no ears. Yeah, I just had a nightmare the other night. Cow. Cow? Dude, this is. There's something really weird here. Can you hold this? Break neck. No way. That's so crazy. And it's weird because it's like most of the time they didn't break their neck. They'd have to have the family come hang on. Flirtation. Who is present? Oh, God, that's scary. The number is unclear. So freaky out here. It really has a really weird mystical. So, kill. Is this where you're buried? Oh. Bro, there's somebody right here. I just got such a ring in my ear. Unfinished business. That's what I said? It feels like it's not like a sad, it's like kind of like angry. Yeah. I feel a ringing from over here. Are you... Can you touch one of these lights in front of us? Can you touch one of these lights in front of us if you're buried here? If your bones are here?
You hear that? I just, I feel somebody right here. Who, can you tell me your name please? John, is this still you, Alice? We want to move to another part of the park. Where should we go? Or can you give us any sort of an answer about whose body is back you here? You are lost. You are lost. Stop doing. Stop, Stop doing. doing. You're lost. To be quite honest, I don't know if I know how to get out of here right now. Thank you. It's imprint, absolutely printed. What's up with the printing? Cold woman. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, bone. Oh my God. Bone unfinished business, arrest. liar, woman, cold, arrest. That's like the story of the Pendle Witches Seriously. right there. Is this one of the witches that we're speaking to? Dude, hold this. Look at This whole device is completely frozen. Contraction. So you're talking about the Pendle Witches. I am dead. I'm glad you know that you're dead. But who are you? Malevolent. Malevolent secret? What would that be? Dried. Probably not. Oh, oh. Who's there? So quiet there for a second. Mm -hmm. Who's hiding in the dark? You don't need to be afraid of us. We're about to walk to a new area, so if you want to tell us anything, this is your last chance. Say goodbye. <laughs> Say, trees. Say goodbye, trees. Frequency, something is following you. Where? What if it isn't the Pendle Witches, but it's one of like the judges? Me. Were you a judge when you were alive? Impact. Billy. Billy. 
I had Billy on mine too. Yeah. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Who's Billy? On the hill. On the hill. This light's about to die. This battery's about to die. <laughs> Shit. Sinker. On the hill, though. What the f***? Pendle Hill? Gallows Hill? Look at my battery's about to die. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna pause the camera. We're gonna move on to a new area. My battery's about to die. She hates you. She hates you. Hmm. Well, it's weird because it, it said I love you earlier. And she hates you. All right. Stranded. So right now, we are in that clearing area where Paul took us earlier, and this is the path where um, someone's been pushed before. We left our DR60 all the way down in the car. We're not going to go run and grab it, so unfortunately no DR60 on this episode, which is a bit disappointing. But we are going to sit here for a second. Bring it. Hmm. What is it? Bring it. Let's see what's down here. I will talk to you. What is the person talking? This is fixed. It. You didn't you heard that it's the actual person talking? No. Yeah. What do you mean? There's like a man yelling. I couldn't hear what he was saying. I didn't hear that. Really? There's like a man yelling. There's like a man yelling. got to be one of the most genuinely creepy areas we've been in in a long time. It really does feel like you're 360 being watched. And I don't I don't get very uncomfortable nowadays, but I'm like really uncomfortable. I just straight up heard a man yelling. Who's with us right now? We heard that there's a spirit here who Jessica. likes- Jessica. Huh. Jessica. We heard that there's a spirit that likes to push people that is here. Who is that? Oh, oh. Did a light just turn on up there? Bro, what the f 
dude. <gasps> Bro, that was right here. Mm -hmm. What's that light up there? Probably a street light. Nineteen seventies. Wait. What was that knocking? Oh. It came from the right side though. Who is this? Jessica, who are you? Bro, this is hella fucking creepy. Very careful, man. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Could you imagine a creepier night, dude? All this, and then you look up through the fucking witches' hanging trees, and there's a moon with the clouds. <laughs> That's got to be the creepiest mm -hmm. sight imaginable. <laughs> Who's the spirit that's evil around here? Thirteen. Bizarre man. This place is legit haunted. Like, we've done so many locations, but this is genuinely a place I didn't expect to be this eerie. And it's like I'm like very uncomfortable Family. with my back to the darkness. It's like it feels like if you imagine this is me, like my phone. Feels like there's somebody like, like right, oh. right up on my neck, dude. It's. I fucked. know what you're saying. That face was crazy, though. I know. Chilling. chilling. Yeah, it is chilling. All right, we're gonna move over to Gallows Hill soon. Whoever's here, can you touch one of those lights? You could really, if you're evil and you want to scare us. That would be one way to really scare she us. She hates you. She hates you again. Condemnate. Condemnate? Condemnate? Who hates us? Is your body buried right around here? Bro, those are some creepy ass trees. Mm -hmm. A few. A few? Are there bodies? A few. What the f Dude, this is crazy. All right. Give us the name of one person who's buried here, will you? Please, my friend? Uh, if you give us a name, we'll leave you alone and let you go back to just hanging around. Oh, God. I mean, chilling. Relaxing. This is dangerous. Please move back. This is dangerous. Right in the area with the violent spirit that pushes someone. Who's the angry spirit that pushes people? Did you? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Oh, God. What? It's just f creepy out here. Yeah. Again. All of a 
sudden. Eleven witches were tried, ten were hanged, one was found not guilty. There are eleven bodies buried around here? Bro, what the f*** is that? This is so eerie. People won't even get this. This is really strange because like, dude, how many forests have we done that haven't even been like creepy? How many fucking houses that have we done? The hospital the other night, the Antwerp mansion, even Pendle Hill. This is, cre this is creepier than mm -hmm. Pendle Hill. Like I'm genuinely so uncomfortable out here. What? Did you not hear that? No. What'd you hear? It's banging in the woods. Our. We should go up to Gallo's house. We're gonna go up to Gallo's Hill. Do you have anything else left to say? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like looking at the ground because I'm dark. I'm looking at the ground because I don't even want to look around. It's so creepy. That just, that noise is really weird. All right, guys. We're going to go up to Gallows Hill now to finish this out. And, uh, yeah, this is really creepy, man. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week, to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video, let's smash that like button, and comment, that was spooky, in the comment section below. I'm gonna give y'all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. So go comment. You can comment multiple times. It helps the video so much. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much and stay spooky. I'm going to talk to the mic like this because it's so windy. We're up here right now on Gallows Hill. My hair is also going fucking crazy on that night shot because the wind is behind me. But to anybody who's here right now, any of the 10 Pendle witches that died here or the hundreds of other people that were executed in this exact location, my name's Colin. My name's Connor. We just want to talk to you because somebody's been following us around tonight. And uh, if you see those red lights next to us, you can touch those too. All right. Grotesque thoughts. Can I? Whoa. Someone has been following us around all night. Who? I thought I just heard a voice. <gasps> all right. It's me, boy. Who? Hey guys. Body's gonna burn. Who who are we talking to right now? Thank you for setting that off. It's Tom. Who's Tom? Tom. Who are you, Tom? Tom is me. 
Catherine? Were, were you executed here? Hanged here? Caught up there. What do you mean by that? Caught up on the gallows? Yeah! What, what were you executed for? Why did they, why did they punish you? Domination. What do you mean by that? Caught in there. Caught in there? What do you mean? I was 20. Were you... So you were hanged here? Are any of the Pendle witches here? Any of the women from Barley? And men? I know, John, you were speaking with us. I want to know, where's, where's your body, whoever's speaking with us? What does that mean? That bake woman over there. You're buried over there? Yes. In this direction? Over here, you mean? Left. That's my left. There you go. L. L for left. But don't say that. Were you, were you accused of witchcraft? In the mountain. Bro, he just looked over that way right when I looked that way. I keep seeing, thinking. Hey, like, you know what? I keep thinking. Uh, I keep thinking I'm seeing There's figures over there. There's memories of someone else. That was really, it was like a full f***ing sentence. I've heard that the energy up here is sad, but it's honestly been kind of really creepy. So are, are you angry? In my head, you'll see. What do you, what do you mean by that? Are you angry that you were unfairly treated and convicted and then executed? The way I feel about it. What is the way that you feel? That's what I'm, I'm trying to ask. Politely. I'm sad. So you are sad. Who, who is this? John. So you're buried to the left, John? In that direction? Yeah. What do you remember about your your death, if you don't mind me asking? The dancers of the night. What do you what do you mean by that? They seemed really helpful. Who yeah. Did? Who, who did? Who seemed helpful? John, My friend. John, did you ever actually participate in any sort of witchcraft? Any kind of magic? I'm glad it's magic. Magic? When I said magic. They come through. John, were you talking to spirits while you were alive? Or even demons? I helped. I don't think you deserve to be executed, John. Bro, I'm f***ing seeing things over here. Horrible. 
keep people close. Dude, it looks like there's two little figures. My love. Oh. Oh, this wind is crazy. Bro, right when I said it looks like there's two figures. Your love? John, did were you the one Get that, out. John, were you the one who said Yeah yeah. Were you the one that said you loved us? Yes. Why did you say that? Are you just happy that we're here to tell your story? Good memories. My love. It keeps saying that. My love. Do you miss somebody that you loved when you were alive? Maybe your mom, dad, girlfriend, wife. I don't know if you were married. You know what they do. I'm sorry. So hard to find them. Oh, dude, I feel like somebody's like walking up behind me. I have such a weird feeling. The all ages. Of a sudden. Who, who just walked up behind me? Who is that? That's Will. Will? It said Will? Billy? Billy? Who, who is this person? Silly little. Baby. I just feel so uncomfortable all of a sudden. And I keep seeing, thinking like I'm seeing people. Thank you. For letting me know. Oh, f***ing. Jesus Christ, this wind. It's like blowing me over. Kill yourself. So crazy that that one's not going off. Who just said that? Who told me to do that? All the time. It was meant to help them. 150 pounds. All right, well, we're gonna go soon. Is there anything else you wanna say? Scotter. Yo, it felt like something just fucking smacked me in the back of the head. I swear to fucking God. What? I swear to fucking God. It's... Yo, nah, nah, nah. Bro, I swear to fucking God. It felt like somebody just fucking like, like hit me like that. <laughs> nah. Nah, let's get the out of here, bro. No. No. Bro, that is fucking... Yo, what the f I just got that on camera, too. Like, straight up, the fucking sound of it, I'm sure, is gonna be on there. Of, like, literally, someone going like this. Like, smacking you in the back of the fucking head. 
So as you can see right there, I felt like I got smacked in the back of the head by something. Now, I've slowed this footage down, I've analyzed every second of this looking for some sort of a bug or something that might have hit the back of my head, but I haven't been able to find anything. There's also a tapping or smacking noise before I react, so I don't know if that's related to what I was feeling, but this whole thing definitely had me a little bit more than freaked out because this sort of stuff never happens to us. That came out of nowhere too. We're about to fucking quit. Oh my god, this place is fucked. <laughs> Yo, I have never had that happen before. What the fuck, dude? I'm like, <laughs> I gotta calm down. Holy shit! I don't have a bug in my hair. Check, check. <laughs> Use the mic so it doesn't fall. Oh. oh. This is the color. Oh, uh, the color. Check, check. No. You sure? Yeah. Nothing's in here? No. Yo. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. All right. That was so crazy because you weren't even saying anything like nuts or like. I was uh, literally about to end it and it felt like someone just went and like tap me. I'm, I don't know if I'm tripping out or if I'm gonna find the audio. I swear to God though, it felt like someone went like that to the back of my head. What the hell? Like, that is so trippy. And at the very end too, like what the, f is, what the f is that? <laughs> like bro, that's crazy as hell. Like we were about to quit and if, I don't know if it'll be on there or not. I if it is, it is though, that's gonna be fucking crazy, bro. Finally, you gotta go slapping you around, man. <laughs> that shit was crazy as hell, right here. I'm, f whatever Gallows. I was gonna say Pendle Hill, Gallows Hill. Oh, <sighs> Jesus Christ! It's All right, it's getting colder and colder. All right. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, that shit's <laughs> crazy. All right. To whoever's up here, I'm sorry if I just pissed you off with any of my questions or anything like that. Um, I don't know if you just smacked me or if I'm just going crazy. Thank you though. Um, and to all the people who were innocent and who were executed here, we are so sorry. But also to the evil thing that told me to kill myself too. Um, we're covered in white light, protected by divine powers. You're not allowed to follow us home. You cannot attach to us. You have to stay up here. And once again, I'm sorry if I offended anybody and you smacked me. Yeah. Bro, that is so I know. crazy. Holy I want shit. Get out of here before it does it again. No, bro, that's, I'm not even. At the end of the night, I don't think we could believe just how much paranormal activity we had captured on camera that night. I mean, to us, we were going out to Gallows Hill, and we were expecting to catch something, but we didn't expect the energy to feel quite like it did. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that energy that we were feeling was from the tortured spirits of executed prisoners, prisoners that half or three quarters of the time were completely innocent, if they were the spirits of the accused witches who were executed right there on that very spot taken from Pendle Hill. So many questions. All these videos always seem to end with questions. And that's because I'm genuinely hesitant to give you guys answers. I honestly don't have the answers. And I think that if someone tells you that they do, you should turn around and run. Because for as much activity as we captured, for as many bizarre responses that we received that night, we're still at square one with our understanding of that place. But I can tell you, Gallows Hill is one of the spookiest spots we've visited all year. And now that it's October, it's time for us to dive deep into the spooky darkness. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Next week, we will be at the Ancient Ram Inn. And as always, y'all, we love you and stay spooky.
Hello! <laughs>